Hi DIYers, this is Frank at Alarm Grid. We're back in the Alarm Grid lab today with the Lynx L5210 wireless alarm system. This is one of Honeywell's self-contained wireless panels. It's the new uh, option to the L5200. Same physical, physical size of the panel um, as the 5100 and the 5200, except the screen now is a little bit smaller. Um, and also, uh, there'll be, there's a new front face, so it looks a little bit different on the, on the front of the unit. Uh, the install today that we'll be doing is the Honeywell 3GL cellular communicator. Okay, so this is a, a cellular AT&T module. It comes with a SIM card included. Uh, it's, it's recommended or it's, it's imperative that you use that SIM card that comes with it, not your own. Um, and Honeywell will pre-activate the SIM for three months. So it'll be pre-activated. Most times we can do the install and then you can activate with your alarm company. Uh, we do offer cellular monitoring packages uh, with no contract. Uh, on our website alarmgrid.com so feel free to check that out uh, for today's purposes we have the l5210 uh, we already have it swung open uh, the way that you open the system there's two tabs along the top of the unit here uh, when closed uh, you would depress those two tabs it would swing open the unit you want to remove your battery clip which is normally clipped right into the board here we remove that clip the battery pack is up in the top compartment and then we have the ac power so Generally, our videos, we show LT cables, um, which is the DC plug barrel connector that makes it easy to, to reboot at the system. In this case, uh, our alarm systems in the lab now are hardwired with custom cable. Um, and what we'll do is actually use our power strip to uh, toggle AC power. Normally, what you would do if you're custom cabling is you would remove the transformer from the, from the wall outlet itself. Um, oftentimes, it's just screw holding it. So get a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen that tight that screw, and then remove the transformer from the wall. Once you have the battery and AC power out, the system is offline. You can press the button on the front of the keypad to make sure it's off, and then we're good to go for the install. So the first thing we're going to do is take the, the chip. There's a little multi-pin connector that's in the bag. Now, when you're unpacking the unit, it's important. This is, this is separately uh, located in the, in the system. It's not actually installed in the 3GL yet. So it's important to get, to get this out of the bag. Uh, the first thing we wanna do is actually insert this right into the panel. So there's a little port on the system, on the left side of the system here, that uh, fits this, this unit. There's no polarity or any direction that, that is required here. There is an L5000 and GSM tag on it, just for, you know, uh, to keep things uniform. We usually put the L5000 side directly in the unit. It's nice and snug. And then what you do is you take the GSM module, which is the, the 3GL. You'll see the, the SIM card on the top right of the, of the uh, GSM. And uh, there's, there's a little cutout corner on it on the top right. That's how you know you have the right orientation. And the SIM comes already inside the unit, um, and there's no, there's, you don't need to touch it at all. Okay. Um, so we have the one screw up top and the two screws at the bottom. So what you do is you can kind of peer on the side of the panel uh, line up that multi-pin connector into the port on the back side of the 3GL. So that, that multi-pin connector is inserted into a port in the system and also into the back of, of the 3GL. So it actually allows the, the module to marry into the board and communicate cellular signals from the alarm panel. Uh, there's three small screws that come with the unit. You can take a Phillips head screwdriver, um, usually a small like number one Phillips head and you can insert the three screws to tighten the unit to the board. You don't want to go too tight, but tight enough to keep it nice and snug. Go ahead and insert these three screws here. Once you get it threaded, you can tighten it down. So we'll have all three screws inserted to hold that 3GL model nice and snug in there. You want to make sure it's pressed all the way to the board. It feels nice and snug. If you want, you can take a photo of the Mac CRC here, just for your own documentation purposes. Um, you can also get it in programming in the Com Diagnostics menu under Communication ID Numbers. Uh, for We have another video on that. So. Um, for today's purposes, we can probably just close up the unit. When powering back up the panel, okay, it's very important to put DC power, then AC. The DC power will be your backup battery. There's a clip 
that uh, runs directly to, to the board. Um, it's the larger of the two tan clips here. And what you want to do is snap that into place. Make sure that's got some room to be able to open and close and not get you know uh, pinched anywhere as you close it. Uh, again, I custom cabled. If we if you're using the LT cable, you can go ahead and just plug that into the to the DC port on the panel just beside uh, the speaker, just to the bottom left of the speaker. If you custom cabled, we always recommend powering up at the transformer. Don't remove these wires because you're dealing with live power, and we don't recommend that. So you can uh, just basically close up the unit because it's already cabled here. Keep in mind, when you put in the DC battery power, it will not power up the system. The system will not power up until you apply AC. If you lose AC power on the transformer in the future, the DC power will, will, will pick it up and continue to power the system, but it will not power the system without AC power to start with. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle my AC power uh, at the power strip I have here. And we can uh, let the system boot up. You'll see the, the uh, computer uh, running the scripts here. It'll run through all the bad blocks and no corruption issues found. Boot up, you'll get a white screen. And then you'll get in, go into a system standby mode. Probably take about a minute for the system to boot up. Uh, once it's fully booted, you'll get a green bar across the top uh, that says ready to arm. And at that point, you can go into your communicator settings uh, make sure that the cellular is enabled. Um, until you set up monitoring with a central station or you set up a total connect service with an alarm company, uh, you want to, you can have it disabled if you don't want to get a Check 103 long range radio error. Uh, if you do plan on setting up service uh, shortly, then you can enable that field in the communicator settings. Um, once that's enabled or disabled, you generally want to leave that section alone and allow your alarm company to help you with that over the phone or, or on site, depending on uh, which company you go with. We offer cellular monitoring plans, no contract, on our website at alarmgrid.com. If you want to check those out, you can email us at support at alarmgrid.com for any more questions. Uh, for now, we'll let the system continue the boot cycle, and we'll get you into programming. So we see ready to arm here. We'll do security, more tools, enter the installer code, program communicator and you'll see it's set to Wi-Fi and GSM it's because I already have the Wi-Fi board in there um, you can set the G GSM only if uh, if there was no Wi-Fi board in there it would automatically be on GSM only so you won't get too deep into the communicator settings here but basically that's where you would set the communication path to either be GSM only Wi-Fi and GSM or none um, in this case we'll keep it on none for now assuming that because we're not uh, setting up monitoring at the moment and we can back all the way out to the home screen and that is how you install the Honeywell 3GL cellular communicator. If you have any further questions on the 3GL, whether it be with the L5210 or any other Lynx touch panel, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. And also please subscribe to our channel.